Hello there viewers and welcome back to another video today where today you join me for a fun little video on Assessor Corsa where today what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and drive a car from the top down view so that's not driving the car from like on board or from chase cam or anything like that this is driving the car from way up in the sky like a bird's eye view and uh, yeah seeing if I can actually control the car if I can drive the, if I can get it around a racetrack with any sort of speed I had this idea when I was making a thumbnail the other day and I was using the free camera mode in a Corsa and playing around with it I thought on oh, it I can drive the car whilst like miles up in the sky and uh, yes yeah, thought I would uh, try and make a video out of it so without further ado let's get going okay so you join me here then at Bristol Motor Speedway which is a big big circuit in the USA well I say big big circuit it's a big big stadium very very small circuit but big big stadium it's got like 160,000 seats and yet the track is well I mean this is it it's a tiny little track and uh, well you can see down in the bottom right hand corner uh, a truck Yes, a full-on 8-ton truck with 13 gears and, uh, yeah, something out of Euro Truck Simulator, basically. It's a massive, massive American, yeah, 8-ton mammoth of a machine. Pick this car because it's nice and easy to see from up in the sky. So, uh, well, I, as I leave the pit lane here, hopefully... I can do this. I've done a small amount of practice off camera. I did about five minutes practice. So coming out of the pits, this is really quite odd driving a car from up above rather than from inside. But so far, I think I'm managing to do this all right. It feels quite natural. Like I said, I did do a little bit of practice. I'm not going to say this is my very first lap of the circuit. Um, but yeah, it's not too difficult around a trial like this. I'm, I mean, I'm saying that. I'm about to have a crash. I know I am. As, uh, yeah, come around to start the lap. So, you're going to set a lap time here. When I was driving in onboard view, I was uh, doing 28 second lap times in this massive American truck. Pick the circuit, by the way, like I say, so I can see it nicely and easily. And because you don't have to worry about braking or anything like that, it's just a steering. Just to, uh, yeah, think about which way you turn. So, coming into the second corner here, what lap time are we going to sit here as we drive from the aerial view? Can we get anything like what we did in the onboard view off camera? As I come up to the start finish line, what is this lap time going to be? It's going to be a 29.4, so yeah, only half a second a lap off of my normal pace. So that's driving a car then around a tiny little oval circuit, um, yeah, where you can easily see where you're going. And now it's time to drive a car around a big circuit. Okay, so you join me here then at the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. I admit, when I said big circuit, I was kind of pushing my luck there. It's not really a particularly big circuit, but it's bigger uh, than the Bristol Motor Speedway that we were just at. And we are here today in the Ford Transit van, which uh, Sabine Schmitz took around the Nordschleife. So it's the very same van, uh, the 2005 Rage uh, Ford Transit van, diesel powered. And we're going to be taking it around Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. So first things first, I'm going to have a lap on board and set myself a like representative lap time and then try and and get close to that from the aerial view. Okay, so heading down the Brabham straight then up to Paddock Hill Bend to start our well our reference lap, our flying lap. Braking for Paddock Hill Bend just at the one board on the left hand side. Just a little dab of the brakes, don't stand the brakes on, otherwise you'll lose the back end. And now feeding the car through Paddock Hill Bend, trying not to go into the gravel trap. And then up Halewoods Hill, I believe it's called up into Druids. So the reason why I have picked the Ford Transit for this test is because this car, very, very easy to drive. So I haven't got to worry about oversteer or anything like that, you know, uh, trail braking, nice, easy to drive car. Plus, it's very easy to see from the sky. <laughs> that's, that's the main reason, to be honest, why I've gone for this. Uh, yeah, any sort of smaller car, and I'm going to struggle to see it. This is a nice, big, chunky van. This, by the way, so this is Bean Schmidt's van. This is the one that she drove around the Nordschleife on Top Gear. Uh, in that very famous challenge where she tried to get this uh, very car around the Nordschleife in less than 10 minutes. So coming through Clearway Zen on our flying lap. This is a diesel power car, very uh, good low down torque, but the uh, power kind of cuts out about now, <laughs> above 3,500 RPM. So you've got to uh, keep the revs down low. So coming up to start finish line, then what is this lap time going to be? It's going to be a 1 minute 10.8. So that's the reference time. Now, if I can get within 5 to 10 seconds of that, I'm going to be pretty happy. So uh, let's see if we can do that now. 
Okay, so here we are then, up in the skies, right up in the clouds here at the Brands Hatch Indie Circuit. I think this is quite a cool view, you know. Um, hats off, by the way, goes to Kunos for the track detailing around the outside of the track. This track looks really, really good in my opinion. It, you know, the uh, scenery around the outside, really very well detailed. And uh, yeah, I was very impressed when I zoomed out and saw the bigger picture, just how good the tracks are detailing is. So, well, you can just about see the car. I'm just driving it now out of the pits. You can just see it coming out from behind oh, oh I've already had a crush and I've had a crush again <laughs> this is going to be difficult by the way uh, you can see the car coming out of the pit lane now oh, it's not the car is it sorry I keep calling it the car it's the van oh now I'm on the grass right this is this is difficult I have done literally no practice by the way so this is my first go at trying to get this around the circuit hopefully you guys can actually see the uh, see the van I keep kind of to call it a car it's a van isn't it it's a Ford Transit oh no I'm in the gravel I'm in the gravel I'm in the gravel I'm in the gravel right go downshift so I can make it up the hill and then up into Druid. So yeah, targeting mm, one minute, mm, one minute fifteen, I reckon. If I could do a one fifteen, I'll be very, very happy with this indeed. As we make our way through Druid's bend. Okay, sit rep practice. It's it's not going very well these opening few laps. I've spent more time on the grass than I have um, on the racetrack itself. This is not going particularly well, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm struggling to get this thing in a straight line. Oh, on the grass. Uh, we go left, 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 right, right, right. Go, on, go right, go right. That's it. There we go. And break. And right a bit. And take it. And I'm into the gravel trap. Yeah, this is this is not going particularly well. I'll get back to you once I've started to get competent. Many hours later. Okay, so I've done about six laps of practice in since I last spoke to you, and going across the start finish line now to start this lap. Breaking for Paddock Hill Bend, kind of where the pit exit is, where the pit exit line is. Obviously, I've lost all my braking markers around here now. I'm just kind of having to use uh, things that are on the track or right next to the track. Things like uh, changes in the like grass. So braking now for Druids. Oh, I've, you know, I've managed to take Paddock Hill Bend and Druids quite well. This lap's going okay so far as I'm on the uh, rumble strip out of Druids now going down the hill, down to Graham Hill Bend. This corner, this has been really tricky. Been really struggling with this. Oh, I kind of missed my apex. Not too bad. <laughs> I'll take that. I only missed my apex by about half the track width. Uh, nothing more than that. Most laps I've been miles off up the grass bag through there. Now going to 30s. This is the most difficult part. Oh, on the grass coming into 30s. Took a bit of a curve there. And uh, now coming into clearways. This is such a tricky corner. Even when you can see kind of where you're going. And um, I've absolutely nailed it. <laughs> I've nailed that corner. I just took that better than I did on my actual lap. So coming through Clark Curve them and then up the Brabham straight up to the start finish line. Can I keep it out of the wall? Yes, I can. What is this lap time going to be as I come up to the start finish line? It's going to be a 1 minute 16.0. Yes, so what was that? 5.2 seconds off uh, the lap time that I did previously. Now going through Paddock Hill Bend once more. Can I beat this lap time? Now as we head up the hill. Braking just after the bridge, so just after the van disappears, is when I'm going to slam the brakes on. So onto the brakes, turning into druids. Now, one thing you notice when you're driving in the aerial view like this is that uh, just oh, as I run wide out of druids, the importance of turning in early is something which, certainly as a racing driver myself, it's not something I ever think about. But when you come into a really abstract view like this, miles up in the sky, it's what makes you realise your kind of driving techniques of how to be quick. And uh, yeah, I'm basically having to dry it, turn in a lot earlier than I think in this van. It's something which you don't realise when you're on board, when you're just driving like normal, as I uh, go wide coming out of 30s. But this has been quite an interesting uh, task, to be honest, as I make my way through clear ways. Well, I don't think I'm going to improve on this lap as I come out of that right hander. Such a tricky corner, clear ways. I absolutely hate it. Certainly on the indie circuit, it's so, so. Like, it's just such a weird corner. If you look at it from up here, you can see the shape of the corner. Such an abstract corner. But coming up to start finish line, then, are we going to improve on the previous lap? Yes, we are. I'm going to set a 1 minute 14.7. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that, actually. 1.14.7. That's, what, four seconds off of the lap that we did previously? And uh, yeah, very happy with that indeed. I'm going to end the video here because I could keep going round and round forever and make this a stupidly long video. I probably could get up to, to a decent lap time to be honest, but uh, I've got other things to do with my life to be honest. I'm not going to waste my life away uh, driving in this area view. I've done about 10 laps already and uh, yeah, uh, I hope you did enjoy watching it though. 
And let, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that good stuff. Next up on this channel will be a GT Sport live stream, so that'll be coming to you sometime in the next few days. So do feel free to like and subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you all then. So goodbye.